Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a brand new start, a brand new channel for you to watch. I hope you enjoy my content. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while, so let's do this. <laughs> Today I put together Blink's pair outfits to show you guys. Glee was my first TV show ever, so it holds a special place in my heart. It will be one of those favorites of mine. I've chose five characters and I'm going to be doing two outfits per each character. I think Glee has a vast fashion. It's possible to do more than one outfit per each character because they grow so much during the seasons. We see them grow in high school, in college, and then in their adult lives, kinda. I'm going to be doing a little intro for each character, talking about their style and what makes their style and telling you guys what are my favorite outfits of each character. I think it will be fun. <laughs> so, let's get started. Queen Fabre Queen's style is very girly and romantic. She likes to wear a lot of dresses with cardigans and to add accessories that will make the outfit look more put together, like hats, belts or scarves. Her style is my favorite from the Glee Girls. It's hard to pick only a few looks, but my most favorite outfit of her are this striped dress. I just... I can begin to explain how much I love this one. Just wait and you see. Anyways, this white dress with the striped cardigan, this white shirt with the yellow skirt, this blue dress from the New York episode, I really love this one too. <laughs> Cannot forget to mention these Oxford wedges, I was in love with them, every time I saw she wore, I wish I had one as well. For the first inspired outfit, I went classic Queen Fabry. I picked this red cardigan, this white dress that has this print, which is a little weird with the bird and the flowers, but I think it works, I like it, this simple necklace in place of her cross necklace, and these black wedges with these pink reddish socks to match the color scheme of the outfit. I think it's very cute, I feel very Queen Fabre in this outfit and could imagine she wearing this on the house of McKinnon High. For the second outfit, I chose this striped dress with the buttons, the same simple necklace and black wedges, but now with blue socks. This is my take on the striped dress I showed earlier as one of my favorite queen outfits. I just love it the moment I saw it, and with my short hair, I do feel very season 3 vibes. Brittany S. Spears Brittany has a lot of fun with her style. Seriously, a lot. She likes to use a lot of prints and to match them differently using accessories like hats, jewelry, socks or scarves. She's also very versatile, being one of the few Glee girls who wear both dresses and pants and shorts. She wore a lot of iconic looks during season 2, my favorites being these overall shorts with the heart shirt, this orange hat and shirt, and these white pants with suspenders and the polka dot shirt and heart glasses. For Brittany, I went more with a mix of things she likes to wear. I started by choosing this black dress with printed feathers, then this jeans top with a knot, this necklace with a green stone, this red beanie and these boots with the grey socks. I felt very 2010s in this outfit, it's a mix of popular pieces and combinations of the time. While I think it's wearable today, I will probably change the boots for sneakers to make more casual. Still a cute outfit overall. For the second outfit, I decided for something more loose, but still keeping the Britney spirit. So I picked this pink shirt with the hearts on the elbows, these striped shorts, these socks with hearts, and these boots. I also added these earrings with the heart shape. I love this combination. It's casual, but because of all the little details, it adds personality to it, something to always look for in an outfit. I think Britney would be very proud. Santana Lopez Santana's style is very on point with her sneak side. She likes to wear clothes that define her body, like tight dresses and skirts, with tops that have more defining necklines. 
In season 2, she wears outfits with a jeans combination. Those are my favorite from her. From overalls to pants, it always look good on her and a great outfit in Spus. For the first look, I picked this striped shirt, this black skirt with the buttons, hoop earrings and this black boots with black socks. I like how it looks and I feel like I could wear this. I just need to get a little more comfortable with it. Still, it's a nice combination and something Santana would rock without a doubt. For the second outfit, I got inspired by the looks where she's wearing a jeans combination. So I picked these jeans overalls, white top, gold hoop earrings and the same boots. I definitely love this, I think it's really cute and I'm glad that Santana would wear outfits like this from time to time. Even if it was just in season 2. Tina Cohen Chang Tina's style goes through a lot of changes, showing she's not afraid of trying new aesthetics to define herself. Going to the punk style in season 1, Victorian goth in season 2, and 60s inspired dresses in season 3. My favorite outfits from her are this black dress with this plate bag. I wanted a bag like that so much, I just loved how cool looking it was. This red dress with a butterfly necklace and this pink dress with the boots. These boots somehow remind me of Alice in Wonderland, the remake, even if it's just a little resemblance. I don't know, it just reminds me of. So with the first outfit I went for more of a mix between emo and goth. I picked this black button-up shirt and layer over this red dress, this necklace with Jack Skellington's face, tights and this Mary Jane's. Last but not least, this checkerboard gloves that I used to wear on my elementary school years. It was nice to use them in an outfit that I enjoy putting together. The second outfit was a little more chill. I picked this white button-up shirt and layer with this black dress and vest. Added this necklace that has the Roman numbers around and the same tights and Mary Jane's. It was a more toned down version of her looks after I went all out in the first one. I felt somewhat elegant and charming in that I could wear this out sometime. It was just that lovely to me. Rachel Berry Rachel's style evolves during the seasons. She gains more and more sense of fashion while wearing what she likes. Starting in preppy outfits in season 1, to wearing more dresses in season 2, to having a vintage inspired style in season 3. And finally having a makeover in season 4, where she obtains a more mature look and sticks to it for the next seasons. For me, season 3 is where she has the most cute outfits. My favorite is being this red shirt with the hard skirt, this dress with stripes and this white shirt with the striped shorts, red beret and white knee socks. And shout out to her root before branches outfit, it's very Rachel Berry and I love it. For this inspired outfit, I decided to go more into her season 3 looks. So I picked this black top, this pink plaid skirt, I really like that this skirt has pockets and it has that vintage style to it, this necklace with a musical note in place of her thin necklace, and this black pumps. I also added this headband to complete the look. It's very on brand of what Rachel would wear, despite not being my usual style. I like it. This skirt is very flowy and the outfit overall is pretty and actually comfortable. For the second outfit, I incorporated more her season 4 looks, choosing this green shirt, this plaid skirt with the zippers in the front, the same musical note necklace, this black tights with the black pumps and this white beret. I love this one, the modern take on a Rachel outfit. The white beret with the green top adds a nice balance and I feel ready to hit the stage and sing. Except we can go out now. And I'm kinda shy, but still, overall, I just really like this outfit and I'm very proud of it. So that was the video, I hope you enjoy it. I know there are other characters from the show to explore their style, like Mercedes, Kurt, Blaine. I'll be happy to talk about them in another video. I just wanted to give full attention to the characters that I chose for this video. 
to make the best that I could with them so then I could start thinking about other characters. Let me know in the comments if I should make a part 2 and which characters would you like to see in it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!